Hey everybody and uh, welcome to some Dragon's Dogma Part 1. And this is my intro. I found a man and I'm gonna bring it home to mama. <laughs> Look at this shit man. I just grabbed a random guy off the street. Nah, he's my pawn. I'm bringing him home to mama. Join me for a drink. Fuck you, Baldy. Since you don't see I got a man already. You know what? This this marriage is not working. So uh I'm gonna have to say bye to you, Rook. It's been it's been fun, man. See you on the other side. Damn! I cannot move! No shit, you just broke all your bones, homie. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm leaving town, changing my name. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a mage. I'm outro. Bye. Hey everybody, and welcome to my uh my dual walkthrough is going to be Dragon's Dogma. So, um, I've been saying for about a week now that I was going to be doing a kind of an open world RPG type of game and no one re no one really guessed it. But uh, I hope you guys are so much surprised. This game is so good. And uh, let's just listen to the mini music. My god, that's some sick guitar action. Jesus! <laughs> Oh my god, alright, let's get started. This game, it's mini music, I could just sit here and listen to the mini music. Like, it just gets me motivated, you know? I wanna, just, I wanna go punch something. I, I should probably play this song when I'm working out. I'm too damn lazy when I work out. Oh my god, I do, oh, The crazy, what the, oh my controller, yeah. My controller likes to disconnect sometimes. It's just retarded like that, and no, it's not because I have low battery. I'm actually using a, um, what's it called? I'm actually using a, uh, wired controller. Now, let me check the settings real quick. Uh, control settings are fine. I heard gameplay that you can turn on. Yeah, the pawn system. I'll have anyone, that's fine. Alright, so I'm kinda, I'm a little jumpy right now. And it's not because this game is scary. <laughs> By starting a new game, your save data will be lost. You can have one save game? Are you serious? Well, fuck it then. This will erase your old save data. Uh, that's kind of gay. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I was gonna. Oh, that sucks. I was. I was gonna do a. You know, play the game, then do a walkthrough for it. I might just record me playing it. Why not? So anyways, yeah, I'm kind of jumpy right now because not just like 10 minutes ago, I was getting to, I was getting ready to record. Well, no, I'll explain after this. In another place, in another life, another child of man blazes your path. Is that referring to me? Cool. How dark it got. Have you a light source? I have a light source. All right. So let's uh, get out to our lantern. So yeah, I'm, I'm fucking jumpy as hell, man. Like, uh, I'll explain. Like, not like 10 minutes ago, I was getting ready to record. You know, I was setting, setting up my PC. I was getting my PVR ready, getting my mic ready. And uh, I got a text message. And I was reading the text message. And out of fucking nowhere, a spider crawls down right in front of me. He's just dangling right in front of my eyes. I'm like, holy! He was so close to me too. Oh my god! He was like, da he was dangling from my my ceiling in my room, and he was just chilling there with his fucking six legs. Oh my god! I feel itchy. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mike. Come on, lazy. You're not a fucking bitch. Oh god, I feel itchy. <laughs> I feel itchy. I hate fucking spiders. Now I know how it feels. When people said they couldn't beat Skyrim because it's a spider. Oh my god. I don't feel good. Whatever, let's go. Ooh, potion. Yeah, this fucking spider, man. It's dangling from my ceiling. Right in front of me, like, not even a foot in front of me. Oh my god, I can see it right now. Oh, fuck that dragon. I'm scared of spiders. Oh, god. Damn. He's angry. I'll beat your ass later, don't worry. Ugh. Take it, bitch. 
You can only have one save? It's kind of gay. I, I apologize for using that word. Someone, someone had uh, a little hissy fit when I said that word. So I'll just say, that shit's lame. Is that better? Yeah. Man, spiders are just not my thing. I got, I, so that's my one weakness. Bugs. I don't like bugs. <laughs> oh my god. Whenever I feel something like, uh, it's like whenever you see a, a, like, say you see a, like a mosquito in your room and you kill it. Oh my god, you see like squirming? Oh, I just feel itchy. Oh my god, I don't feel good right now. Whew. Let's do it. So let me explain this game. <laughs> I need to stop being a bitch. I tried to kill it, but you know, I didn't really see the body of the spider. It's probably going to come back to bite my ass that, when I'm sleeping at night. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Shake it off. So, uh, basically this game has pawns, which is your party system. And to... In order for you to get more pawns, or just summon any pawn, what you have to do is go to a rift stone. Like this, this is a rift stone. And you examine it, and it says, The markings glow no longer. It seems pawns may be may not be summoned now. Uh, yeah, so you can spawn pawns. Uh, I, I, haven't got, I haven't gotten that far to actually get my own pawns. I wanted to record the beginning part. But, I heard that I was reading through the manual, and I'm surprised that Dragon's Dogma actually had a manual. <laughs> but, um... Uh, you can make pawns and then upload them to the internet on Xbox Live and you can actually download other people's pawns. That's pretty cool. Oh god! I'm still not familiar. I, I don't like the controls in this game. I mean, it's not to say that it doesn't work. I'm just saying, like, you have to press RB to use your shield. And you press. No, actually, use LB to use your shield. It's loud. Damn! That goblin got his shit torn up. <laughs> Say, so, use uh, RB. You, you can, oh, is there another enemy? No. Alright, so you see, you press RB, you see the uh, buttons on the bottom. It says blind strike, skyward slash, hind, hindsight slash. RB is your sword skills. LB is your shield skills. So, uh, like shield summons, it's basically like a taunt. To get enemies to attack you, symbol attack. Basically, uh, it's like a parry, and shield strike is, uh, you know, bash your shield forward. You also have to worry about your your stamina on the bottom right. It's like that orange bar. Uh, I found out the hard way. <laughs> I was fighting a boss my on my other playthrough. I think I'm just going to make this my primary, because you can't have two. And I only have one hard drive. I only have one hard drive, so this, this is going to suck. I, I think I'm just going to record this one way. No. So, everything you're seeing is uh, new to me, except for this part, because I actually played this already. So, uh, back to the stamina bar. If you run out of stamina, your guy actually just stands still and pants. Like, catches his breath. And that could be very, very bad. Especially if you're fighting a boss. Find that out the hard way the first time. Especially on this part. You fight a boss on the end of this level. Spoilers. And, um... I ran out of stamina, and I was just sitting there like a retard, and I lost quite a bit of health. I don't know what it is, but is, is it me or do or is the color like distorted? Anybody else see that? Like the I don't even know. It's like grayed out. I, not really grayed out. I don't even, don't even know what I'm talking about right now. It's just the color looks weird. All right. So this game is similar to uh, kind of like Skyrim, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, Amalur, in that the fact that it's open world RPG. You have uh, attributes, you have stat systems, you have skill trees, and you have classes. Uh, I think the I think the first quest, this quest right here, you're always gonna play a fighter, and the classes are fighter, strider, and then mage, I believe. So yeah, and if you know, if you've seen my Skyrim walkthrough, you already know what I'm what class I'm going to be playing. <laughs> the fuck? We thought to inundate the worm with sheer numbers, a sea of blades. 
My guy's like, Shh. my guy's like, <laughs> you're a pussy. Our sea runs dry, and the Duke's army is lost in the gambit. Arisen, you talk. You talk way too much. Ooh, he gave me a a potion. I take that back. I should have talked to you the first time I played this game. Okay, you learn something new every day, huh? Such atrocity. So, um, if you see my, if you if if you subscribe from when I was uh, doing my Skyrim walkthrough, you already know right this way. what class I'm gonna be picking. Strider. Strider is a rogue, basically. He has dual daggers and a bow. And I see. What, I, I feel like the Strider is one of the better classes. And he, I'll give you my. I'll give you. I'll give you my reasoning as soon as I kill this damn harpy. Where does? Can you attack something? Oh, he shot it down. <laughs> I'm just gonna hammer away. Damn! Fucking harpy, take it. Yeah, I feel like the Striders is a good mixture of of combat because Striders have good range, and they also have good um. They do decent damage. DPS, damage per second. So the bow, I, I'm, I'm not sure if the, the fighter, which is well, what I am class, it's like a, basically a melee class. I'm not sure if they have a, um, if they have a range attack. I know mages do. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be playing a strider. I did not turn off my notifications. Damn it. So yeah, if you run out of stamina, you can bet your ass you, you are going to be stuck. Take my fire! Let's make use of these explosives. Now, no, I don't... I still have a few things to learn about this game. Mainly because, you know, it just came out. <laughs> but, um... You can... I don't know how I, I I honestly don't know how the pawn system works completely other than the fact that you can spawn other pawns. Like, can you get other pawns? Can you pick which pawns you want? Like, if it, can I have two mages? You know? I don't know. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. So first, most I've I've noticed that a lot of the enemies are very very diverse in the way you fight them. Like. Harpies, you have to, you know, bring them down first. Along with, like, griffins. And, uh, that dude's hanging on it. What the hell? Oh, cutscene. Yeah, a lot of the enemies are diverse. Like, for the griffin, you have to actually bring down its wings. I want to grab a harpy. Oh, can I grab you? Oh, shit. I heard that, I heard that the harpies could actually pick you up and drag you. Uh, so yeah, uh, goblins, you know, your basic melee enemies. Harpies are your flying enemies. You have to shoot them on the wings to bring it down. Or you just use fire. Um, I have fought zombies at night. and They're pretty damn freaky. And tra traveling at night is no joke. If you want to complete a quest, I advise you do it during the day. Because you will get fucked in the ass by a surprise zombie. And he'll just chuckle at you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was two chests over here, no? Okay. Oh, the other one's over here. Okay. This way, sir. The, only, the only reason... I, I, I notice a lot of people whenever I watch walkthroughs or just any video for, like, RPGs. The, um, mostly people are playing as either mages or... Or, um... What's it called? Fighters. Melee classes. Now I don't know why. I don't. Know. In my opinion, they're they seem generic as hell. <laughs> but they they like to put down the the rogue classes a lot. I mean, the rogue classes are fucking awesome. Tons of critical hit damage, range attack with the bow. I mean, come on. So this is our this is our basic uh, what's it called? First first boss encounter. Like how they do a uh, intro cutscene for it, kind of like, oh shit! So the, oh god, I want to explain how to kill him. N not that it's difficult, but 